Everyone, thanks so much for watching. It is late September. We are at Big Mackenzie Lake. Kind of excited about this one. It's a gorgeous day. It's been like windy the last couple days, and today it is just gorgeous. It's going to be like in the 70s, calm, and this lake is really cool. It's got um, muskies in it, and some big northern pike, some bass, a little bit of everything. And uh, it just looks like it's a really good lake. The landing here is a little rough. Uh, it's right off the road, and you kind of park right across the road. And then the landing's a little bit tore up here. It's got big chunks of concrete. And you're pretty much going to have to get in the water because it's a very shallow, sandy landing with no dock. There's Reggie right there. Just He had to launch the boat, so it's you can see it's... <laughs> he's out there about 20 feet and is uh, not even up to his knees. But you can see, yeah, we just saw a bunch of bluegills swimming around in the boat already. I saw a bug fly by and they all jumped up and ate it. But you can see it's a really uh, kind of soft sand here. And then uh, the concrete's pretty chunked up so you get bounced around a little bit. But uh, you ain't got much room here so you gotta pull straight across the road and then back across the road. So just watch out for traffic. Okay, right there. There goes the car right there. My name is Randy, you're watching Go Midwest Fishing Lake Reviews. Now let's go catch some fish. Shove us off. Much better off the back. Nice deep hole. Nice clear water. I love these tall reeds like that. The northern musky like hanging in those. Cool. We are off. Be a good uh, hot spot for some yeah. fish. Ooh, Reggie's got one. <laughs> As I was saying, supposed to be good right here for some fish. What does he got? Pass? Yep. Yeah. Just like that. Just like that. Yep, he's got the old one minus on there. It's been doing good all week, so might as well keep it on. Measure that bad boy. What are we looking at? 13? I'll let you do it. Nick. Probably a little over. Just a little over 13 inches. Yep, 13 and a quarter. Nice fish. Nice healthy looking one. I like I was saying, right off the landing here, it's, what are we in? Seven feet of water and it's so clear you can see down right to bottom. Some sporadic weeds throughout here. Just looks like an awesome place to fish. <laughs> looks nice, they're usually sporadic tall weeds. Mm hmm. I think I'm gonna hook up the robotic floor and see what happens. Dude! Can't even get a line in the water. He's pulling them in left and right. <laughs> bass. Little bass again. Nice. Little guy, but it's fun. All right, we're putting on the robotic lure. Finally, I haven't had a good day to test this yet, but today it is calm with clear water and there's musky around. 
Couldn't find a better spot to try this little baby. Oh, the bluegills are checking them out. <laughs> Gonna leave this hanging over the side near the boat in case a musky comes up or something, follows up and sees that. Oh, it's so good. Ooh, ooh, you got a oh, good one. <laughs> Eating size. Oh, I see him come right up. <laughs> I did a little figurine on him and got it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Good eating size. 22 inches, and you actually got some meat on him. Hey, dude, we get to eat you. You're the chosen one. Got yeah, one. Here they hooked you. Comes with salad too. Holy shit. What? No way. No, oh, get in there. Get in there. I gotta get this thing off. Where's the hook? Musky, you think? Alright, go free. I got bigger fish to catch. Gotta get my robotic lure out there. It's gonna be all squeaky. That's what I use the lure. See if we can't snap him. There's a bigger one. Oh! <laughs> all right. That's a eater size. Got him! Ha! Look at that pig! <laughs> oh, you got one too. Got a double on. <laughs> I win. <laughs> Ooh, musky. Ready to sell a musky. Entice him to come back. So far is really good by landing now we just came around the corner there's kind of a hump out in the middle it goes about 10 feet deep there's some nice weeds in there it's supposed to be a good spot for walleye and crappie uh, so we're gonna just throw a few out here and see if we catch any yeah all right bass <laughs> bass love that lure Do the official measurement. There he is. He is. Twelve. Oh, Eleven oh, and a half. Eleven and a half bass. Goodbye. Oof. Yeah. What do we got? What do we got on? To the bass? Comes. Looks like a bass. A bass with a weed. Just dragging. I want to catch on the top of the head. Nice <laughs> chunk. Hello, weeds. Oh, don't get hooked again, dude. Quit flopping.
seriously. <laughs> All right, there he is. You're a whopping 13 inches. Bye bye. Boy. All right, caught him on this uh, fire tiger um, shallow running crankbait here. Gives a real nice flash in the sunlight. I kind of like it. about midway down the lake there's a 70 foot hole behind us it just drops straight off and then on the back side of it here there's kind of like the great barrier reef of weeds there's like a real thick clump that kind of just goes along the shoreline it's probably out a couple hundred feet from the shoreline but right along that weed there's just tons of bluegills and I'm watching them all just come up and eat bugs off the surface so I'm gonna get out the fly rod and have a little fun with them all right we'll catch one on the fly The baby one. Oh, a tiny one. A little deeper. Got him. Come here, buddy. There you go. Blue wheels on the fly. Just like that, first cast. <laughs> oh man. Oh, got one. He's in tight. Look at that. A little bit better ones over here. They're not huge, but bigger than we've been catching. Got one. Whoa. We're down more on the southern end of the lake now. There's a little hump out here. It's hard to find because on the map, it's not exactly where it is on the lake. So we just kind of trolled around a little bit till we found it. <clears throat> and we found some little bit bigger bluegills here. They're not huge, but they're bigger than we've been catching. And uh, Reggie had a bite on his crankbait first cast here. So there might be a bass or something in here also. I'm gonna have a Cheeto first. Oh. Yeah, look at that. There's some bass here. There you Let's go somewhere else. Oh, wait. I got a fish. <laughs> Come here. Yeah. 13. Nine. Eh, 12. 11 and a half. Let's see. 11 and a half. You can make him. I know I could. No, he's, he's 11. <laughs> he's 11 and a half. That's all you get. Stuck myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, well. Ow. <laughs> I think I caught me a weed and got a little excited. <laughs> got me all hyped up. Now you saw a musky in here. We're, we're on edge. See, all you got to say is you're going to leave and then you catch one. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Got him on the old crayfish spinner looking bait. Probably what was sniped before. Probably. Well, good. We caught one down here now. He's going to be the same. Yep. Looks about 9, 10 inches. Huh? 
Okay, 11 inches. <laughs> All right, we're gonna head back up to the landing again and just try that real quick and then we're gonna go and have lunch and maybe try the other Mackenzie Lake. So we got out here about 9 a.m. and it's now 2.30. So we're just heading almost to the landing here and check out a couple more lakes. Gotta say, I really love this lake. Uh, it's awesome fishing. There's um, spots to fish everywhere. There's a lot of nice five to 10 foot range depths here with nice weed beds. Anytime you find any weed beds, there's bluegills. No matter where you are in this lake, you can find a bluegill. So they're mostly on the smaller side, but you can find some bigger ones too. We did spot three muskies today too. Two of them right by the landing and one down in the south end. It is a very bright, warm, sunny day, clear skies, with really clear water. So it makes it kind of hard to fish these clear lakes because you can see everything and the muskies saw us come and they kind of took off. But I also like it because I love seeing in the water and seeing all the fish all around us. It's pretty cool. But I think if it was a cloudy day, it would have been a little better. We did catch a little more fish in the morning and then, you know, during the noon lull here, it slowed up a little bit. If you're in the area, I highly recommend this lake. I really liked it. We also fished a bunch of lakes in the area, so check out these lakes.